of this video is to demonstrate how to do actuation in Mujoko. We will show a simple control of our pendulum. We will have three types of servos, a position servo, a velocity servo, a combination of position velocity servo, and finally a torque servo. The first thing we need to do is once we have defined the model of the pendulum in the XML is to add actuator tag. That actuator tag will hold three types of servos, the torque servo, the position servo, and velocity servo. The joint which is being actuated has to be given some name and that should be referenced in over here. We also can set the gains for the position velocity servo. Here they have been set to zero. Because the torque servo is defined first, it gets the actuator number equal to zero. The second one, position servo gets actuator equals one and the third velocity server gets actuator equals two. This will be needed later on when we write code. First, I'm going to show you how the XML file looks like. So this is the XML file. This is the model of the pendulum defined here. And here is the actuator tag. Here we have defined the join to be joint zero. You can see it over here, that's the name. And then we've Attach this torque position velocity servo here. Now, let me do one thing. Let me just change this to 100 and um, 10. And I'm going to open this in simulate. Okay, so here's the pendulum. Now, if once you have defined the actuators in that format, you should see in the control tab that you have these three uh, actuators. Let's increase the position command by moving this. And you can see that the, the, the pendulum is actually moving. Okay. So here what's happening is uh, I'm commanding the position to be some angle. Here's 0.57 non-dimensionalized and it's moving. Let us reset this. Now go back here and change this to zero and change this KB to 100. Let's go back here, reload, and now just increase the velocity servo. So you can see that the pendulum is moving continuously, and that's because we've only switched on to the velocity servo, which is commanding this pendulum to move at a uniform speed. Okay. Finally, the torque servo goes unstable. So if you switch this, you see that there's a torque applied, and each time the torque increases the angle increases and the acceleration also increases and it quickly will go unstable if you keep running this this just shows how you can access these servos using the simulate app let me close this i'm going to play uh, uh, work with this pi file pendulum controller pi i'll make this available in the description let's run this file and then we see that uh, the pendulum starts in this horizontal position. That position is actually 90 degrees, and then it keeps moving. So if you open this file, we can see that uh, we've well, it was uh, moving because we set the KV to be 100. But if you make it zero and then rerun this, then you see it falls down passively. In fact, it it keeps its oscillations doesn't lose energy. Okay, now we'll go ahead and try to understand how to control the pendulum. Set so the torque servo, which is defined in the XML. If you read the documentation in this link, then you will see that this is the attributes for the torque servo. Here we are only interested in setting the gain type to be one in order to be that to be set. So what we'll do is we we'll create a function which basically sets this actuator gain param. Uh, to the right value. We also need to pass the actuator number here. Okay, so once we set this equal to one, that means the torque servo will be active. For the position servo, there's a similar table. You can see that the position servo needs a gain KP. So we need to set the gain param KP and then bias param minus KP. Now you can see that in the gain param, this is index zero. So I put zero here equals KP. And you can see that this index is the second index. So it's one equals minus KP. So we'll use this in the set the position servo. And finally, the velocity servo. 
has a similar table. You can see that kv and minus kv need to be set. Uh, for the gain param, it's the zeroth variable. And for the bias param, it's the second variable. So what I'm going to do is to make my life easy, I'll create a function which basically assigns the position, torque, position, velocity, servo, and then I can just call it with the right gain so that I can use it. So I did this programming ahead of time. What I described just now in words can be uh, written as functions. So for example, when I, if I want to set the torque servo, I pass the actuator number, I pass a flag. So if I want to set it on, I pass one, and then it will set the gain for them, and then it will be on. So the position servo, I need to pass the actuator number and the KP, and that sets up the gain param bias param based on that table I showed earlier. And same for velocity servo, I need to set the gain param bias param to be the right value. So this by itself doesn't do much. It just gives me a tool so that I can then call the right function to do the appropriate thing. Now that we have programmed these functions, the last thing to do is I'll show you the use of these uh, functions. We'll have four types of controllers. I'll show you a position servo, no velocity gain that will make the pendulum behave like a spring. Next, I'll show you how to control the speed by using the velocity servo. Next, if you want to, the pendulum to go to a certain position, I turn on the position velocity servo to give me position, position control. And the last thing to note is that <clears throat> the torque servo is very general. It can do one, two, three above by appropriately setting the torque as sure as by these functions. So I'll show you all these three too. So we'll do it one at a time, and then we'll see the results on the pendulum. Okay, the code I want to write will all be set right here. Okay, so let's first uh, do spring-like behavior using position. Okay. So what I need to do is first set the position servo. So I copy this. I know that the position servo is number one. I set again, let's say 10. Once I set that, I need to set the, the angle at which I want it to behave like a spring. So that is done by using CTRL1 equals NP.1. Okay. I used one because it corresponds to actuator one, and then I use NP.5 because that corresponds to the vertical position. So let's run this. And you can see that the pendulum is no longer passive. It, it here like a spring about the vertical position. So we can stop this. Let's comment this. Let's go to the next controller. Let's do a velocity or speed control using velocity servo. So for that, I do set velocity servo. Uh, since the velocity servo is actuator number two, I say two, and then I need to set a gain. Let's put 100 and then data dot CTRL2 because the second actuator equals, let me make it go at a speed of 0.5. So run this. And now you see that the pendulum is moving at a uniform speed approximately, and it'll keep taking, making revolutions this way. Okay, the next one is a uh, position control. For that, I need a P position and a velocity servo. So I copy this. I want to set a gain slightly higher than this. Set this to 10. And now when I want to set the position command, it will be this because this part is the velocity uh, set point. So the position set point Let's say it is same as the one I had earlier, vertical direction. So if everything worked right, the pendulum should spring to the vertical position. So it did that. Okay. 
Okay, now I'll show you generic uh, torque control, which can achieve all these things by appropriately choosing the right set points. So first of all, I need to set the velocity, so, uh, the torque servo. So it should be actuated zero, which is basically the first one. And then I need to set a flag one or on or not on. So flag equals one, set it on. Now the first thing I will do is I will set the CTRL. So here CTRL zero, which is for actually to zero corresponds to talk. Here it corresponds to position somewhere here. And then here it corresponds to velocity. So here it is. Okay. So first let's do spring like behavior. So let's choose again, uh, same as before, 100 times the angle is stored in data dot q pose zero minus uh, whatever reference I want np dot y. So that was fast because I set it a gain of a hundred. If I set it to ten, it would be like what I saw earlier. So this is spring like behavior. Okay, let's begin next to velocity control. Comment this for velocity control. I need to set uh, do well minus 0 0.5. It's trying to reproduce this result. Maybe I should change this to 10 to make it look like the previous one. And so this would be moving at uniform speed, just like before, but this time using talk sense talk zero. So speed control and then finally to position control i just say zero equals minus 100 theta dot q goes zero minus np dot y minus 10 times theta dot q well zero so this is p position derivative your position velocity control. Comment this out, and then we can run this. And you can see it springs to the upright position. So this final thing is velocity uh, position control. So in this way, we can do all three controls using the talk server.